So one of the prevailing motifs here on Shots of Awe is as human beings, as conscious agents, how do we resolve the inherent tension between wanting to realize, to fully realize our potential, to realize ourselves as individuals who stand with dignity, and resist the tug of conformity? How do we avoid succumbing to a zombified trance state of blindly following others in a herd as sheep, as hamsters in a hamster wheel. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because I think that the way we resolve that is by taking that plunge, by answering that call that Joseph Campbell talks about. There is no one map for how to live our lives. Reality is just a word and you're not supposed to use it without quotation marks around it anyway, as Joseph Campbell says. We are all free to create our own reality, but it's only when we are bold enough to decondition our thinking, to transcend what Robert Anton Wilson calls the reality tunnel, right? This linguistic and conceptual and symbolic framework that constructs reality, this animatrix pulled in front of your eyes, blinding you from ecstatic visions of what might be behind those walls. You know, we are larvas who haven't turned ourselves into butterflies yet. And there's that great line by Nietzsche that says, those who were seen dancing were called insane by those who could not hear the music. Never forget the words of Jack Kerouac. The only people for me are the mad ones. Mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time. Those who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, burn, burn like yellow Roman candles exploding like spiders across the sky.